Oh boy, gang, we are going to do it up right today. Avocados, cherry tomatoes, mozzarella, garlic, and bacon all put together. This is Caprese Avocado with Bacon, gang. Look at that. Your mouth is watering just looking at it right now. I know it is. Let's go. <laughs> ah, that's funny. I just said the intro thing and Brianna, my assistant, goes, yeah, my mouth is watering right now. That's <laughs> funny. Hey, welcome back to the kitchen, gang. I mean, I am doing it in shorts. Can you see, it's the first time I've ever cooked in shorts because it's hot as you know what out there. So I thought, oh, I'm going to cook in shorts. Whatever. Hey, listen, kitchen already smells good. Why? Because I already cooked some bacon. And now the, with the rest of the ingredients, look at this. Holy cow, how great is this going to be? We're talking about a couple of avocados, some garlic, good cooked bacon, some uh, grape tomatoes, cherry tomatoes, whatever you want to call them, some mozzarella balls. It's going to come together in a wonderful, wonderful uh, little dish. Look, this can be breakfast. This can be lunch. This can be an appetizer. I'm having some kids over on Friday night. Kids meaning, you know, like old people like me, but I call them kids because I'm trying to be young here. We're going to do it for appetizers. And I'm just telling you, it's so good. I'm a caprese salad nut fan. And I'm also, I, I have an avocado pretty much every day in my life. And who the hell doesn't like bacon? So we're gonna put it all together and have fun. So here we go. Okay, but here's the secret of the whole recipe. It starts with number one. Number one is we're gonna put some olive oil on the stove. We're gonna throw our garlic in there and we're just gonna let it have that flavor. You know what happens when you throw garlic in hot oil? It takes about 30 seconds. It browns a little bit and it smells amazing. So that's number one. Let's go. Okay, look at that. That looks great. Looks beautiful. This is like three cloves. Now, a lot of times I use my garlic press. I love my garlic press. But the thing about this is, is you want your garlic pieces to be a little chunkier, right? You, when you bite into that, you want to like mm, taste that chunk. And sometimes the garlic press just kind of makes it a little bit more like mush. We don't want to do that. We want a little bit beefier garlic here. Okay, over at the stove, we're going to put in a fair amount of oil. You want to cover a small pan like this, you want to cover the whole bottom because this is the oil that's actually going to be part of the uh, oil and balsamic that is actually going to be in the caprese, the avocado caprese. All right, so we want to get our oil just a little bit warm and then we're going to throw in our fabulous garlic. There's nothing better than garlic and oil. Garlic and bacon together, baby. <laughs> All right, let's throw this in. Got a little bit of a sizzle, which is what we want. Move it around a little bit. And again, we're looking just for, for it to get a little brown. Not going to be in there very long. Oh, I'm going to listen. Oh, <laughs> the smell is amazing. This is a great little trick when you're making your caprese or anytime you're putting together tomatoes and mozzarella and garlic. Fry up your, your garlic for about a minute until you start seeing them getting a little bit brown, then shut it off and you're done. All right, boom, that's it. You see how the little pieces are already brown and the big pieces are getting there, so we're done. All right, this is my bowl that I'm gonna put everything in. So let's start with the oil and the garlic. Oh, Lord, help us with the smell. Woo, doggy. Okay, so like I said, we're gonna build everything in this bowl. So I'm gonna let the oil sit there three, four minutes, let it cool down a little bit. But while it's cooling down, I'll move it to the side. Let's break out the cherry tomatoes and let's cut them. I'm gonna do some of them half, some of them quarters. A little chop fest here. All right, we're gonna start putting these tomatoes right here in the bowl. Let them start soaking in with the garlic and oil. See that, beautiful. I'm gonna set it back over here. Okay, I think that's enough. Look at there. That's pretty good. So let's just mix that up with all the oil and the garlic. Look at that. See, see that garlic kind of getting integrated in there? Oh, yes, indeedy, Bob. We need to S and P it up. Some salt, of course, lots of pepper. And now I've got some uh, mozzarella balls here. We'll just throw those in. Look how great that is. Then 
Balsamic, baby. I love balsamic. A lot of people, you know, just put a little touch in. I just, I just kind of go like that because I love me some balsamic. And look how beautiful that's becoming. Yeah, buddy. That look great or what? Woo! Okay. Look. It's not a caprese or, or, or a bruschetta or anything without, you guessed it, fresh basil. Here we go. Let me just pull a dog pile of it out here. Look, you can chiffonade this. A lot of people like doing that when they cut, make it all purdy and everything. I like my basil all chopped up nice. Okay, here we go. Bunch of basil. We're just gonna dump it right in there, baby. Just like that. The smell is incredible. Are you looking at this? Seriously, I hope you have eyes and that you're looking at this. Well, if you're watching YouTube, you probably have eyes. It's just a guess. All right. Ideally, you want all of this love and goodness to sit in the fridge for about 30 minutes to an hour. Let it all kind of get to know each other and start liking each other and making its own little babies, you know what I'm saying? But for now, I'm just going to keep going. But put it in, if you can, put it in the, uh, in the fridge for about an hour. Okay. One avocado. Seriously, I eat one a day pretty much every darn day. They're just, it's, I don't know, it's, it's like the new peanut butter to me or something. All right, so... Just like we do with avocados, we're just going to cut them right down the middle. Just like that. We're going to open them up. Uh, okay, look at that. The little seed just popped right in half. Okay, there you go. That's fine. Oh, that one's fine too. I've never seen that happen before. Have you guys where the little seed just pops right in half? These are good knives. I don't know that that's exactly what happened. But anyway, all right, we're gonna put our plate here. We're gonna come in here like you do with a spoon and you're gonna get the whole thing out. There we go. See, so it's a beautiful, perfect little avocado. So we're gonna put it right there. Here comes the other one. And there's nothing like dealing with a slimy avocado. They're so slimy sometimes. There we go. Okay, so for presentation's sake, you see how I've got one facing one way, one facing the other? Here we go, we're just gonna load it up with our beautiful concoction, just like this. Holy cow, are you kidding me? Seriously, oh, come here, ball. You want, a, you want your mozzarella balls to be, yeah, just like that, there you go. I mean, you talk about mouth-watering, gang. This is serious mouth-watering time. Okay, you look at that and you think, holy cow, let's eat. But wait, do we remember having bacon? <laughs> I just have it chopped up here. And all we're gonna do is we're just gonna slowly have fun. <laughs> it just makes me giggle. Look at this. Are you kidding me? Are you kidding me? Look at this game. I tell you what, also for fun, because we just love that cheese, let's put a little Parmesan on top of it to give it a nice color. Look at that, holy cow. One final thing, let's put a little balsamic glaze right on top of it, okay? Just barely have enough, just like that. See how beautiful that is? Okay, gang. There you have it. Caprese avocado with bacon. Of course, the funnest part of our day. People, if you're not eating like this most nights, you're just not living. This is unbelievable with the bacon that you, which just turns this into something special. Oh Lord, please subscribe to the channel. Look, send me recipes if you want or I'll just keep cooking my own. This one you are gonna wanna do. Bye.